In this tutorial, we will see how to design a simple horizontal LPG storage tank. First, create a new project. You can also open an existing project which you have created and stored and thereafter add this LPG storage tank to the same. First open the project. Click on the project bar in the project explorer to make it the currently selected one. Select the submenu option pressure vessel available inside the top menu equipment. Enter and select the appropriate equipment details. Please ensure that you select the appropriate code, service, front end type, rear end type and support. Click on the dialogs button. OK. The equipment will be added to the currently selected project in the project explorer with the equipment named LPG storage tank. If it isn't visible in the project explorer, then click on the project bar to expand the tree. You can see that under the entry LPG storage tank, a tree list is generated wherein various details for the equipment can be seen, defined and or updated. Before we move on further, it is important to understand the contents of the various parts of the equipment tree in the Project Explorer. In case you haven't seen the earlier tutorials in the series, we suggest you visit them before you continue with this tutorial. Click on the entry LPG storage tag, which by itself is a major definition entry wherein the major configurational details or the dimensional details are defined. Let us update the contents in the properties window to reflect the appropriate tank dimensions. The next step is to input design data information. For this, locate the tree entry design data and then the shell design data entry in it. A simple pressure vessel like this one has only shell design data. A pressure chamber's design information contains sub entries for entering pressure and temperature for operating design hydro test conditions. Please note that the pressure units are kgf per square millimeter gauge. Specify the radiographic examination requirement as full. Click on radiography tree node and update the entries. Update the allowances information to specify the internal corrosion allowance as 3 mm. This process completes the definition of design data information. The next step is to apply material of construction for various components. You can define the material of construction for various component types in common areas and thus save time required in defining material for each individual component. The definition of material is covered under the equipment subtree material specs in the project explorer. Let's begin defining material for the main vessel components. The material spec combo box on the left side vertical menu strip lists predefined material specs or data sets. The software user can update, add, modify or change these data sets. You can learn more on this at later stages. The next step is to define the material for nozzles or the vessel connections. This completes the material definitions. By following the entire above process, we have defined the equipment configuration, its overall dimensions, design data like pressures, temperatures, etc. under various conditions, radiography, corrosion allowances, etc. and have defined material for the various components. While following the above procedure, you may have noticed that you have done minimum definitions or entered minimum inputs. The other entries have been left blank or empty and the software will select appropriate values for them. At this stage, we proceed to designing of the equipment. First, you have to ensure that the equipment you want to design is the current equipment in case there are multiple equipments in the project. 
To make any equipment the currently selected one, click on the equipment tag or any other item in its tree. Now select the submenu design equipment in the top menu design model to begin design of the equipment. The next logical step is to see the design output. Proceed to see the design output for the left side dish end, dish end front. For this select submenu option port reports from the top menu create reports. The design output is displayed in an area called output window which is a tabbed page. The top of each output window has tab entries and on clicking each tab you can see the output for that particular design condition. Click on the main shell object and generate the report for it by selecting the submenu code report from the top menu create report. This will display design report for the main shell object. You can use the right side scroll bar in the output window to scroll the report. Next, click on the wind load definition object marked wind IS87587 and generate the report for it by selecting the sub menu code report from the top menu create report. This design report shows wind load calculations. Similarly, you can click on seismic IS1893 02 object and generate the output report. Next, go to Support Assembly Tree Node and select Saddle Support option under it. Create the design report for it and view it in the output window. Click on Corroded Design 1 tab at the top of the output window. You can scroll and review the report. In the first part of the report, the support components have been checked for their adequacy to withstand equipment loads and wind loads. When you scroll it further down, you will see the second part of the report wherein the adequacy of the components for equipment loads of seismic loads is checked for. Further down this report is the third part wherein ZIC analysis of the saddle is done to ensure that the localized stresses developed due to supporting arrangement are within limits. Please note that the entire process from selection of saddle to checking its adequacy are done automatically thus saving users valuable time. Having designed the overall equipment, we now proceed to adding nozzles for the equipment. Click OK button to update the model. Select the submenu Design Equipment in the top menu Design Model to redesign the equipment. You can click on any item object in the equipment and see its design by selecting submenu Code Report from the top menu Create Report. Don't forget to see the report for pad type manhole nozzle marked NO3 and its cover design. Now to see the best feature of the software, click on LPG storage tank entry in the equipment tree in the project explorer. Change the dimensions of the equipment as shown here. Redesign the equipment. The entire equipment including the shell, dished end, supports, lifting lugs are rescaled and the effect of this change is also reflected in the nozzle neck and reinforcement calculations. This completes the tutorial. Hope you enjoy the intelligent features of our software CADM PVD. For software inquiry, email us at cadm at vsnl.com. 
You can download a trial version of our software from our website www.gadim.in. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel www.youtube.com slash gadim channel. You can also follow us on www.facebook.com slash gadim india and www.linkedin.com slash company slash gadim.